Okay, and just walk for a second. I'm just gonna give you a stick here. We need to start with a stick. Okay, so here you've got your back up. You squeeze your leg, you ask her to go, doesn't go, you squeeze hard, doesn't go. Stick behind your leg, okay? And stick with your leg so that the, the whip confirms what your leg was asking for, okay? Which is a forward reaction. Good, so sit twice, ask for a big trot. Good, okay, so we got a good reaction. Now steady and circle. And this time you are gonna go up over the line of trot poles after your circle. So can you feel the reins are a little bit loopy, a little bit bouncy? We wanna have straighter contact through the reins so that you can direct her straight up and over those poles, right? They're skinny poles, so you've gotta be very accurate. Heels down, legs on. Good, good job, Neo. Okay, so that was well written. Let's do a half circle and reverse. Switching your posting diagonal and switching your whip. Don't let her slow down. Working trot. Good, so when you're riding with a short whip, the best way to switch it is just to lift your hands and slide it under your hands. So practice that now. Lift your hands, slide the whip underneath. Perfect, and then same thing, switch it back. Perfect, see that's a little bit smoother, isn't it? You're gonna be a little quicker with that. Okay, look for your poles. Let's come straight down over the poles again. Working trot. That's it. Good. Good correction. And I like how you widened your hand to help guide her where to go there when she got wiggly. Good. Let's circle where you are. And show me your canter. Okay, good. Now I want you to go back to trot. We're going to ask for the canter again. I want you to ask for the canter up here where I can see you. And I want to just check in with where your leg is sitting when you ask for the canter. Okay, so let's go back to trot. So you're getting it, right? So obviously you're doing some things right. I want you though when you ask for the canter to just sit, slide the outside leg back a little bit. Just circle through here again. So this time show me that you're gonna sit, put the outside leg a little bit back. That's better. Okay, that's gonna help her to know which lead you want in different situations, right? On a circle she knows. But when you're going straight, we want that outside leg to help to really cue the lead. Okay, let's go up into your two point and ask her to canter a little more forward. Good, Neo. Heels down, stretch your leg. How do your stirrups feel? Do they feel a little bit too long? A Little bit long? Okay, let's just bring her in. I'm gonna shorten your stirrups a hole and I think that'll be a better length for you once we're jumping as well. Which, your warm up's going well so far, right? So we should be able to get to the jumping pretty quickly. Okay. Now this one says it's even with the other one. Just put your foot back in for a sec. It looks longer though. This And then I want you to get ready to canter down the line of poles. Okay? So you're going to canter the same line of poles that you were trotting over. In two point, yep. With your legs on. I don't mind at all if you're sitting on the approach, that's fine. But then lighten your seat into two point over the pole. Shift. 
Shay. And if we're able to get you going with finding her a saddle, that would really help me out too. <laughs> because I really need to sell this saddle for Well, go ahead, sell it. We got the black one. For school. Yeah. I don't think it'll fit either of your leasers though. That's the problem. A little more energy here. Make sure your lower legs are back on her belly. And look ahead for the poles. Good correction. Awesome job. Okay, ready? Keep cantering and lead change. Good, okay, so she's pretty on top of those lead changes now. Let's just walk a second, we'll talk about that. Good. Could you feel her lead change that she did it in two parts? She did her front legs first, and then a few strides later, she did her back legs. So what I want you to do, Neo, is if you're in that canter where it feels kind of like you've got a flat tire that she's kind of bumping along, which means that she's got herself disunited, one set of legs is right, one set is wrong. What I want you to do in that case is to keep both your legs on and half halt your outside rein. Okay, so you're going to keep both legs and use your brake on the outside and then soften. Okay, well you're going to feel that when you use your brake and then you soften it, she's going to fix the lead. Okay, it helps her out. Okay, so let's do it one more time this way and then we'll switch directions. Yeah, that's, that's usual. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not 100% of the time that that's the case, but that's the usual scenario. Okay, good, you fixed the lead. Keep a little more push here. But I guess if needs be and I gotta sell my saddle, I can work on the girls getting their own. Yeah, or they can chip in and buy that, or whatever, all three of us can chip in and buy it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that wouldn't be so bad then. Woo! Little there spook. Good job, your legs are glued on so nicely. When, when she spooked, she gave you a clean lead change, Neo. Let's come do the pulls one more time, and then I want you to ride firmly past the door, looking ahead, trying to ride through that spook without letting her jump in so much. Good job. One, two, three, four, five. Now look ahead. Look way up through the corner. Look, look, look. Canter. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. I want to get this done where each part of it is good. So you've got your entrance has been good, the middle of the pole is good. Now we need to ride away with a little more strength of leg and keep the canter. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now look way up, keep the leg, keep the leg, keep the leg, keep the canter. So <laughs> I'm glad she did that. Because you're telling her to do it, huh? Like I'm saying look ahead and you're looking at the wall. Yeah, you gotta look over there, right? That's where you're going. If you're looking here, she's going, oh, are we stopping? When are we stopping, <laughs> right? Okay, good, let's get to that point. But yes, I want your eyes to always be ahead of where you are. So when you're jumping the pole, you're looking straight. Right? But as soon as you've landed and you're riding away, your eyes have to keep going ahead of yourself. Okay, so let's do that one more time. You're going to land, keep her straight through your legs, but start to look ahead through the corner.
Good. Very good. Now look way ahead. Keep the leg, keep the leg. Look in the corner, keep the leg. Quick, quick. Too many trot steps. Okay, we're pretty close. You just need to dig in and ride a little harder through the ends of the ring, Neo. Okay, I wanna get this done so we can move on. So be fierce and determined this time about keeping the canter. Good. Now look to the corner and canter forward, canter forward, canter forward. So at what point are you gonna use your stick? Uh, yeah, so she's just like four times in a row broken to trot on you. So to me, that's at least three times too many, right? One mistake, okay, whoops, we made a mistake. Second time, you gotta be ready for that, okay? Come again, no trotting allowed. She does good lead changes now. You gotta keep her cantering. Insist that she keeps cantering. Whatever you have to do to keep it. Good, awesome, okay, and walk and praise her. Now she was helpful that time. Because did you feel that time she actually held the right lead all the way there, right? She never swapped off to the outside lead. So that made your job a little bit easier. All right, so we'll just give her a second to walk. Get yourself turned around onto the left rein. He would be a great supplementary coach for your guys too. Yeah. It's just, I don't know if you could nail him down to every single weekend, right? Uh, but well, that's not he's a wealth of knowledge. I know, I know. Yeah. That's, I, I think that's a great idea. And he's a, you know, obviously a great positive mm -hmm. male role model as well. If you can maybe mention that to him. Yeah. If we could maybe do it, it's, it's maybe a transition, you know. Yeah. So, or let him have a lesson with the boys or something. Just to yeah. See. That might actually be a good fit for you, for you guys because not only is he super knowledgeable with the riding stuff, he's also, um, you know, bang on with the horse body stuff. Yeah. And then he's also wired to be aware of the energetic work that you are as well. So he's not, like, I think a lot of trainers are going to find that a little bit hard to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, comp to integrate, I guess, yeah, yeah. or to make sense of, and, and Miles would just be like. Yeah, we're talking the same language. Exactly. Yeah. Well, please mention that to him. Yeah, no, I will do. Yeah, give him my number, and, you know, maybe next Sunday or next yeah. Friday, or something, and he's in the rounds, doing rounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah, that's awesome. He's mainly dressage or show jumping. Show jumping, he did the Grand Prix as well. He, um, he had a horse named Bari when I was a kid. That was a cool horse. And he, he had the double slalom at Spruce on a 15 two hand thoroughbred mare. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously thoroughbreds were a little bit more popular. I think that was like 83 or something. But, you know, my horse is small and and Miles is totally of the track of like, size has nothing to do with ability, you know? Yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah. Okay, well let's do these pulls this way, Neo, and as soon as we're successful with this, we're gonna move right into the jumping work. So let's go ahead, left lead canter. The rhythm and the canter you had the other way were great, and then make sure you keep that good canter on your exit. I want to make sure you can do this exercise two times really well, that you can, hopefully you do it perfectly the first time and then right away again, and then we get right into the jumping.
So you'll just be coming down the line, opposite way that you've done, and then keep going to the end of the ring. So you're just doing the whole ring, but adding in those pulls this way now. So make sure she's awake. Does she go right out to the wall when you push with your inside leg? Check your posting diagonal. Good, push down in your feet, look ahead and canter. Good, look at your pull. So this is the rhythm you're in. One, two, easy, not go crazy. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five. Good, legs on, ride away nice and energetic. Good, Neo, push your heels down, turn your toes out a little bit so you can really keep your leg on. Heels down, toes out. Look for your pulls. Second time. Keep the canter the same. Easy. That's getting faster. Okay, I want you to do it one more time. You made it work, but both times this way, she's sped up on the way to the first pull. So keep energy back in the corner. Make sure she doesn't think about trotting at all, but on the way to that pole, you need to te keep a little feel of the reins. Don't let her speed up. Stay the same, stay the same, stay the same. Okay, so you're making it work. I want you to do it one more time. I want to see you slow down on the way to the first pole without trotting. So here you've got to keep energy. And as soon as you turn to your pull, I want you to think about waiting. Good, now wait, wait, wait. Good man, better. So even though the distance got mixed up, at least that time she wasn't going faster and faster to the pull. Okay, I can live with that. Let's walk. Good. Okay, Neil, we're going to start on the right, and I want you to canter up over this cross rail that I'm making now, and then you're going to make a turn in front of the wheelbarrow, so you're just using half the ring. Okay, so you're jumping over the jump, looking ahead, and turning through the middle of the ring here. So you have to be pretty organized, because this turn comes up pretty quickly. Okay, so you're going to be coming this direction, jumping your jump straight, but then right away being organized for this turn. What's that? Nope, just go out to the wall. So we're just jumping this one on a circle a few times. Okay, just to get you in the rhythm. Now we're doing it on the right rein, which means that you might need to do a lead change after. And again, that comes down to just keeping your legs on and keeping the canter. And then if she gets mixed up, just adding that half halt on your outside rein. In canter, yeah. Whoa, those reins are really long, holy smokes. So this is, comes down to contact, right? We want you to have a little feel of her mouth. Looking ahead, outside leg back, wrong lead, back to trot. So she fixed it pretty quickly, but go back to trot. We need to start on the correct lead. And she picked up the wrong one there because she was looking the wrong way. Turn now, you don't need to go down to the other end. Good, now ask for inside bend and canter, outside leg back, good. Good, this is a great canter. This canter to your jump. Looking ahead. Good, look for your jump. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good, look and turn. Outside rain, good job, awesome job. Same ride again. Nice, Neo. Outside rain. Keep the legs. Yes, good job with the lead. Awesome. Okay, walk and give her a pat. 
Good job. Give yourself a pat. Excellent. So they're not using the fly mask, eh? Is it too small or something? I couldn't see I probably just got taken off for night because they're not supposed to wear it 24 hours a day. Yeah, it was, well, we, got, we got here around 2 or 3 and it wasn't on for out in the field. Oh, really? Oh. I couldn't find it in their locker. Oh. I don't know. It should be on during the day and off at night is what I would want to see. Okay, Neo. So now we're going to jump straight in over this jump again. And then you're going to keep cantering and make a bending line to the rainbow cross rail. Okay, so you're jumping that and then turning and going through the end of the ring. So... I'll just make that a little bit smaller the first time. Okay, so again, you're jumping your cross rail, then you're making a nice long curve that finishes with you going straight to this jump, and then you'll just go through the end of the ring. Okay, and then we'll talk about that. So just the one line to start with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make sure those legs are glued on firm. Look to your jump. Good job. Okay, and I like that you jumped that nicely in the middle. Good, Neo. Okay, walk and give her a pat. Good. Okay, Neo, so we're going to do the same bending line. So you're coming, jumping this jump, bending line to the rainbow one, and then I want you to turn and then come straight back down over this one the other way. Making sure that on that long straight approach, her canter doesn't get bigger and bigger, right? It's got to stay the same. You might need to be half halting all the way here, little tiny half halts, keeping her canter together. Yeah, give her a spank right away. There should be no discussion about whether she goes forward once the walk break is over, right? That needs to be instant. Good. Now, test. Does she listen to your leg in the canter? Looking ahead, legs glued on. Good job. Good job not to let the canter get too big. Awesome. Okay, good pat for her. Okay, good little walk break for her. Well done, Neil. Good overall. Want to make sure you start with enough energy and then you keep her in that same canter. So now we're going to go, uh, we're going to add one more jump. So after you do your three jumps, one, two, three, then keep cantering and jump four is the pink vertical here. Start with enough canter. Dig in. Is she listening? Mm. 
Make sure your legs are on at the jump. Leg. Good job. Try to stay in two point though until she lands. One more jump. Don't let her think she's done. Nose up, leg on. <laughs> Look now, look now for your turn. Leg on, woo! So she probably wasn't feeling terribly confident in her pilot because the pilot was driving all over the place like he'd had a couple drinks, right? Because she's jumped that jump already this week quite a few times, enough that she shouldn't be spooking at it, but I think she was a little bit like, well, I don't even know if this guy knows what's going on, okay? So it comes down to checking before you begin your course, going through it in your mind, making sure you know where you're going, and then on course, you need to be looking early enough for your jump, Neo, that you, that you start to chart out the best way to get there. Right, if you're looking early at this jump, you're gonna see the beautiful invitation of the open standards. Oh, I just get to go right through those open standards and right there. Okay, let's come jump the last jump right now. Energetic canter, straight approach, strong leg when you get there, so that you're giving Blaze more confidence that you know what you're doing up there. Is she awake? Stick, use your stick right now. Good, much better. And a beautiful clean lead change. Good, give her a pat. Much better. So you were just a little more determined, a little more purposeful in how you rode and you got a much better result out of it. Good, okay, so I think we should do the course that you just did one more time, and then we're gonna do one different course. So same one you did, starting bending line, long straight approach, and then finish on the pink, so that she does that whole course with the kind of confidence that you just showed. Do not be shy to give her a tap with your stick if she feels Grumpy, slow, not listening, right? She needs a little reminder about staying on task. Right, you ask with your leg and you confirm with your stick. Now there was a good canter, good. Good start. Make sure those legs are on at the jump. Squeeze, good, Neo. Landing in two point. Good. Keep your two point over the jump. Come on, is she awake? Are you fixing it? Or is she half asleep? Canter, canter, canter. There, good, same deep distance, but a much more energetic canter for her to work with. So she's being very quiet today, right? She's kind of opposite to your last lesson where I was like, whoa, slow down the whole lesson. Today she's like, oh, how much do you wanna do this? Oh, okay, I guess I could do that. So you've gotta help create a little bit of urgency with her, like Blaze, come on, we got some jumps to jump here, wake up, okay? And if she gives you a, a poor effort like she did there where she just didn't lift her legs up, when you land, I should see this. Go, right? Instead of landing and letting her continue to canter like this, like she's just 
got her feet stuck in the mud, right? Because that is not okay, the way she jumped that. She's got to jump better than that, right? Otherwise, we're going to have an accident. She's got to pick her feet up when she gets to the jump. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you with a different course, but man, oh man, you better have this horse awake. And it's not about speed. I don't want you flying at the jumps, but I need to see that she's cantering like she's like looking ahead and oh, what are we doing? And she's interested, okay? So we're gonna do our whole course backwards. So now your first jump is gonna be the pink one coming this way. Then you're doing the one on the quarter line going absolutely straight to the end. Then you're doing the rainbow one and then you're finishing bending back to the quarter line. Okay? Sense of urgency. Think about her, her tail needs to be a little bit on fire, right? She needs to have that little like whoo, like she's got some place to go. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, walk, we're gonna start over. So what did I just talk to you about? Sense of urgency, right? Did she feel like she was like marching on down to her jump? No, she's got her feet stuck in the mud. So as soon as you canter, you need to shoot her out of the cannon. Go. And then you can half hold if you need to, okay? But right now she's being very sleepy. So we had the first problem was we were slow and not very interested. And the second problem was you had a terrible approach, right? So usually most horses, given those two things, would have had a refusal. She was a good girl and she jumped anyways, but that's not good enough riding, okay? Let's start again. It's your job to make sure you have the right canter. If you do not have the right canter, do not go to your jump. Make it happen early so you can go to your jump. Now use all your space, Neil. Much better. Good. Marching away, getting your lead change, looking ahead. Good. Now you're going to go straight to the end of the ring after this one. Come on. Two point over the jumps. Grab main if you're not sure. Energy and urgency. Grab some mane. Okay. Good, so she's being really good. So we had talked about that a little bit in some of your other courses where I was saying stay in two points, stay in two points. It's just that you're sitting up too early. And then the last course, you didn't really do two point at all, so then you're pulling on her mouth when she's jumping. Okay, so especially if you think your distance is awkward, I want you to grab mane, right? Keep those legs on and grab mane so that you're not gonna pull on her mouth. Okay, let's do our last line again, and I wanna see you like this over every jump, looking up in two point. She needs to finish the jump with her hind legs, Land in front, land behind, and then you sit up. Okay, if you're sitting up when she's landing, you're gonna accidentally pull on her mouth. Okay? Did you talk to Trent about the remote start for my car? No, I totally forgot. I remembered the underwear conversation. <laughs> Did you talk about <laughs> Where was my mind? <laughs> yeah, but then I forgot the remote starter conversation. Well, I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> <laughs> TMI, as the kids would say. Too much information. Is she in a good canter yet? Good, now be fierce and look at your jump. Grab main, good. 
Grab main. There we go. Good job, Neo. So much better. And then she's going to jump better, right? If she's worried about you pulling on her mouth, she's going to start to jump like this with her head and neck straight up. Right? And then because her head and neck are short and up and her back is tight, she won't be able to jump a bigger jump because her back is tight and she can't use it to be an athlete over the jumps. That was way, way better. Okay? I was a little bit worried when you didn't have your canter all the way down here, but you got it and you got her pretty organized in a short space of time. So that was crucial to have a good jump there. Okay, good. <laughs> Got a lot more done today from last time, right? Last time was just like stopping, basically, slowing down. Good girl, Blaze. All right, so she should do just a couple minutes of trotting, and then you can walk and cool her out.